Name that movie. Okay, go. Arcadian, what is your profession? It's not a more popular line from the film. Finding Nemo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid ranks. It's I'm Corbin. 300. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Twitter. more gypsy content. Is that your Gerard Butler? Having not heard him, his voice in that long? Yeah. This. Hey, I can't do it, Jordan. This is Sparta! That was terrible. <laughs> um, but today we are, uh, what are we doing, Rick? We're either doing stand-up, trailer, uh, music, informational video, or food. No. Or a song. Porn. Porn. Oh, Porn. my favorite. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> about time we got to some of those things that were sent to yeah. us. <laughs> the girls of Kama Sutra. Here we go. Uh, no, the the actual trailer for Tandav, that, that Amazon series with uh, Saif Ali Khan. Yes. The actual trailer. Because we had a teaser out. before. Just a teaser. And we're like, like pretty. It was like, I have no, no idea what this is. No idea what this is about, but uh, everybody looks really nice. So uh, they actually dropped the trailer because I think it comes out mid-month. I hope they didn't break it when they dropped it. Ha ha! Let's just get into it. Politicians in Mizapur were the main characters of the story. Yeah. The, the, the ones that, I don't want to spoil it, but they, if you've seen Mizapur, the, the politicians part of it, if they were the main characters, that's what mm -hmm. this seems like. Yeah. A little bit. It does. And it seems, um, it could be just production design and quality for the trailer. I don't know. There's a, there's a polished cleanness to everything that doesn't feel real to me. Mm-hmm. 
Um, Everything was very clean. Right? Yeah. Um, to, to the point of like, it's, it's more than just they were looking clean because they're going to be careful about the way they look as the politicians, mm -hmm. as in everybody was camera ready. Mm. Make sense? Yeah. Which doesn't help me with suspension of disbelief. It makes me think I'm watching a movie or a TV show based on these things versus being absorbed into the world mm -hmm. of it. Uh, I mean, it doesn't can't tell anything until we watch the show. Yeah. But as far as it drawing me in, I remember all the other series that yeah. we've watched that we've been drawn into. Yeah. The trailers, we were like, dang, I want to watch that. Yeah. Right? And I guess it's different if it's just a politician show. Right. Because they can only be so exciting without the murder and espionage, I suppose. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> uh, politics can be only so exciting. But yeah, I... I agree. Uh, it it didn't look bad by no. by any shape. It looked like top quality acting, top quality exactly. Uh, uh, all that all that kind of stuff is just. Uh, it definitely didn't grip you like when you see the Family Man trailer, when you see the Musipur or the Second Games trailers. They just Pato look. Yeah, they just kind of seen Delhi crime, but also those are more, I guess, about crime. Yeah, criminals. I guess, exactly, and just criminal politicians. And if the if the if the writing is good and the acting is good. Whatever that clean look is, that's something that you can get acclimated to and adjusted to, and it doesn't distract you if you're believing everybody in the story. Mm -hmm. And I really hope this is a no holds barred hold the, the mirror politics. up to the politics of India. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's been a lot of politics shows in I don't know how many in, in India, uh, but in in America, it's, it's been common. around for a long. The West Wing was one of the highly common, one of the original in both TV and motion yeah. picture. And you often will get films here that give you the sometimes biased, oftentimes unbiased, mm -hmm. raw, real, nitty gritty about actual events. Yeah, you know the most the, the the Post was the most recent one, which was about the Watergate scandal with Richard Nixon, which was really, really well done. <laughs> um, and child's play now. Yeah, but it was interesting too when you see that. If you haven't seen the post, you should because it's not only a good history lesson about what happened in Watergate, but it's really astonishing that the more things change, the more they stay the same. And history sometimes doesn't teach us what we need to learn. Nope. Uh, because what happened in Watergate and the whole Nixon administration. You, you can only learn from history yeah. if you choose to. Exactly. Uh. <laughs> Just knowing what happened. Yeah. Is different than learning from what happened. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Saif uh, looked really good. Uh, we, you know, we, we saw him and he's forever uh, Sartosh, obviously, to us. Uh, <laughs> that would be a great spin off series for Sacred Games. Forever Sartosh. Forever Sartosh. <laughs> um, or it's a scent. Because, like I've said before, he's been known more for his like cocktail roles where he's playing the ladies' man or the, mm -hmm. the, the love interest or right. stuff like that. And then he's done some, a, a few villain roles, but. Is his career similar to that of Michael Keaton's? Where at the beginning, a lot of people, I'm not saying Michael Keaton was the love interest, but no. he, he did more um, campy, campy, but he did Batman, so he was technically the leading uh, man, good looking, kind of stuff like that. Um, but no one really thought of him as a an actor. Right. And then Birdman came out, and then now he's just kind of strung together, kind of similar with Matthew McConaughey a little bit. Bill Murray did the same yeah. thing. Um, Bill Murray was just the funny guy who did a lot of funny stuff, and he was great at it. And mm -hmm. then all of a sudden, Bill Murray became an Oscar-level actor. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, didn't know we had that in you, Bill. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I'm, I'm wondering if that's what's going uh, on with Saif. Saif yeah. Yeah. Well, we saw an interview where he was very interested in the craft, and he was asking questions, and uh, which was great. And I have a feeling, based on what we saw in Sacred Games and then the movie whose name we always forget when uh, we played the bad guy. Tahanji. Tahanji. Yeah. Okay. Tahanji. Yeah, that he's, he's definitely... Um, He's definitely... He's ready to be yeah. perceived and, uh, in the level with Nawaz. And, yeah, and I hope and, that this does this for him. I hope that this is one of those things that he was really looking forward to doing that has great writing. I mean, I tell you, like the short films from India, mm -hmm. the TV series, we've had a string of nothing but good television. Yeah, we haven't had a bad one yet. Every single show we've seen. We've now seen five TV shows, multiple seasons of some. They've all been rock solid. Yeah, and I don't... I don't even know how to choose specifically because I, I can I choose different ones for like 
best writing probably you know and all that and my personal favorites but they've all i i if you said one was the best in your favor i really right. wouldn't have an be like no you i could, can understand why you may have personal preferences to the ones you'd be more willing to watch the episodes of again mm -hmm. but if you were to tell me this show i like this more than that show or i think that's a better show think, i thought i think sacred games is the best I'm, okay. I'm not going to argue. And I think Mars is. Mars I'm not well, gonna I argue. think Patalok is. I'm not going to okay. argue. Well, Delhi Prime was. Well, yeah. Yeah. Family Man was okay. I'm it'd not going to argue. It'd be a little strange if Delhi Prime was your favorite because of how. I, I can't watch that over and it's over. It's my least favorite to watch. Yeah. But it's the most important. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> so, yeah, we really yeah. haven't had a bad one. Uh, there, I know Made in Heaven is a is is one that. It, it's, a, it's different from everything we've seen because it's more. A bunch of different, I think, um, uh, Indian style weddings. Yeah. So each episode, I think, is a different. You know. You know what I'm ready for? Huh. A sitcom. A sitcom. Where are they? Oh, they, I'm sure there are. Yeah. I don't, where I don't is know it? If we'd understand. That. I know, but that's what I would like to see if we could, and that might help us better appreciate some of the humor that we see in some of the films if we actually got it. Because how many sitcoms would you say you've seen? I don't like I don't like life. a lot of sitcoms. But how many have you oh, seen? Like quite a few. And you're not a big sitcom buff. No big. Not yeah, big but si sitcoms for actors and people who love TV and film in America, sitcoms are like. I mean, one of my bread and shows, butter. One of my favorite shows ever is Cheers. Yeah. It's like the original. I have watched so many. I've probably watched more sitcoms than anything else. In it's the one thing I would love I to do more than anything sitcom? else too. Huh? Why is it called sitcom? Situational comedy. Oh. Yeah. Sit the, the term came up from, I believe, like everything else in the standard, came from I Love Lucy, oh. which is each episode is a situational comedy. Mm. Yeah, so that's where sitcom came Well, from. let us know what you thought about this, uh, and uh, what's the next Saif uh, film or thing we should uh, get into uh, down below. Da <laughs> <laughs>